Teachers and others who behave badly in or outside of their chosen sport have existed for as long as there have been professional sports. These are some of the biggest scandals to ever shock the sporting world when they are discovered, and they frequently make international news when they do. Let's go and find out which is the biggest scandal in sports. The Black Sox scandal. The first of them all. The 1919 Chicago White Sox conspired to toss the World Series against the Cincinnati Reds, according to the Chicago Tribune. This event served as the basis for the 1963 bestseller Eight Men Out and the 1988 film of the same name. The majority of popular misconceptions about the scandal are probably untrue. For instance, the players approached the gamblers rather than the other way around, and the White Sox weren't trying to get even with owner Charles Comiskey for being underpaid when in fact they had the highest team payroll in the league at the time. Even so, the Black Sox scandal, which resulted in the lifetime ban of several players, remains one of the most well-known instances of doping in sports history. Death Penalty it can be argued that Southern Methodist University in 1987 was one of those cases where the punishment was worse than the offense. According to Time, the NCAA imposed the death penalty on the school for paying some of its football players for several years, wiping SMU's whole season and forcing the Mustangs to forego their 1988 season. The modest school's once promising football program suffered a terrible effect. From 1989 to 2008, it only managed one successful season. Since then, the NCAA has never punished a Division I school with the death penalty. The Houston Astros signed thieves. The most recent item on the list, this one might go down as one of the worst ever. According to the New York Times, the Houston Astros, who were the most successful baseball club from 2017 to 2019 and won the World Series in 2017, were discovered using a complex sign-stealing scheme. In 2020, the Astros were forced to fire manager A.J. Hinch and general manager Jeff Lunau. They were also hit with a $5 million fine and several draft picks were taken away from them. Although no players have received punishment, the entire squad is now in the news because of these antics, as both fans and other players openly disapprove of them. Ben Johnson was caught using drugs. At the 1988 Seoul Olympics News Conference, Ben Johnson declared that his gold medal in the 100-meter final was, something no one can take away from you. Unfortunately, they actually did that 24 hours later for the Canadian sprinter. According to CNN, the IOC disqualified Johnson from receiving his gold medal because he tested positive for a prohibited drug. Remarkably, six of the eight winners of that race ultimately failed drug tests or were later found to have used drugs, earning it the moniker, dirtiest race in history. Age of Danny Almonte. Although Little League, it was a huge scandal. Danny Almonte, a pitcher who was born in the Dominican Republic, was reportedly 14 years old when he participated in a 12 and under international Little League tournament in 2001, according to ESPN. His Bronx, New York squad was forced to give up all of its victories, and their records were retrospectively wiped out after he was found to be ineligible. Almonte only participated in an independent league in 2007 for one season, never making it to the big leagues. The Minnesota Vikings, party boat. For many Minnesota Vikings players in 2005, the fun was ended. For their participation in a lewd and intoxicated boat party on the shores of Lake Minnetonka earlier that season, ESPN reports that Don Culpepper, Bryant McKinney, Fred Smoot, and Mo Williams each faced three misdemeanor charges. There were 17 team members that participated in the illegal gathering in all. Williams was found guilty of disorderly conduct, McKinney and Smoot were fined, and Culpepper had his charges against him withdrawn for disorderly conduct. Baseball has banned Pete Rose. In 1989, Pete Rose lost his position as the game's all-time leading hitter. According to CNN, Commissioner A. Bartlett Giamatti permanently barred the former Cincinnati Reds manager and player from baseball for gambling. Rose vehemently denied this for years. He ultimately told the truth in his autobiography in 2004, but he still insists that his gambling never affected a game's result. His repeated requests for reinstatement, however, have been ignored. Convicted of dogfighting was Michael Vick. In the NFL, Michael Vick was on the verge of becoming a superstar, but everything fell apart in 2007. According to the Philadelphia Inquirer, the former Falcons quarterback admitted pleas to a federal dogfighting crime, was sentenced to 19 months in jail, and has now been suspended indefinitely. Vick made a comeback to the NFL in 2009 and later worked as an animal welfare activist, but many felt that the damage to his reputation was irreversible. The Tim Donaghy gambling scandal. Although the idea that officials rig games is as old as sports itself, it actually occurred in the case of Tim Donaghy in 2007. According to ESPN, the former NBA referee began placing bets on the games he was judging as early as 2003. Donaghy pleaded guilty to conspiracy and received a 15-month prison term after the FBI conducted an investigation. In an effort to stop similar tactics in the future, the NBA as a result modified the rules regarding referee behavior. Barry Bonds and Balco one of the largest scandals in baseball history involved the Balco Lab in California. According to CNN, federal officials in the United States started looking into the facility and its owner, Victor Conte, as early as 2002. Two years later, a number of well-known athletes acknowledged to using steroids. 
Barry Bonds, who at the time asserted he was unaware the chemicals he was abusing were steroids, was charged with perjury and obstructing the administration of justice in 2007. Bonds escaped prison time, but despite compiling some of the best seasons in history, his efforts to cover up the truth also prevented him from being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Spygate. The extraordinary success streak of the New England Patriots in the first decade of the 21st century has not been without controversy. According to Sporting News, the NFL deducted the Patriots of their first-round draft selection for 2008 after discovering that they were copying signals using handwritten schematics and film in 2007. No one was banned, but the company and head coach Bill Belichick were both hit with substantial fines. Even though the Pats were exonerated of allegations that they taped the Rams pre-Super Bowl 36 walkthrough in 2002, the majority of football fans believed they had been engaging in various forms of cheating all along. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods's fall from grace required years to recover from. According to Global News, he rammed his SUV into a tree in a fire hydrant outside his Florida house on Thanksgiving Day in 2009. Then, allegations of numerous extramarital romances surfaced, damaging his reputation as a devoted athlete and family guy and costing him millions in sponsorship deals. Woods entered a sex addiction facility in Mississippi, and his wife Ellen Nordegren filed for divorce. It took Tiger years to return to the top of the mountain due to dealing with this scandal and many ailments, and some would argue he'll never be exactly the same again. Bountygate. According to ESPN, the New Orleans Saints engaged in questionable tactics such as an internal, Bounty, system where players received additional compensation for harsh hits and even purposefully harming opponents. With up to 27 players taking part, it started in 2009, the year the Saints won the Super Bowl, and lasted until 2011. The Saints received a harsh punishment from the NFL in 2012, including a US$500,000 fine, the loss of two second-round picks, and the one-year, no-pay suspension of head coach Sean Payton. Defense coordinator Greg Williams, who oversaw the Bounty program, was placed on indefinite leave until being rehired in 2013. The biogenesis controversy. For the greater part of a couple decades, baseball and performance-enhancing drugs have been connected, and one of the shocking developments was the biogenesis affair that started in 2012. According to ESPN, numerous MLB players, including Melky Cabrera, Bartolo Colon, and Yasmani Grandel, who are all patients of the Florida-based clinic, have been suspended due to high testosterone levels. More well-known figures were exposed after biogenesis shut down in 2013, including former MVP Ryan Braun and Alex Rodriguez, who was ultimately suspended for 211 games. Lance Armstrong was found using drugs. The majority of the sports community was already aware of Lance Armstrong's cheating when he eventually admitted it in 2013. According to USA Today, the founder of Livestrong had his seven Tour de France victories revoked in 2012 for doping. He maintained his innocence throughout his career before confessing to Oprah Winfrey. In 2018, he paid $5 million to resolve a legal dispute with the U.S. government, but his reputation was never restored, and cycling as a whole suffered as a result. Racial recording made by Donald Sterling. In 2014, soon before the first round of the playoffs started, a voice recording shook the NBA. According to ESPN, TMZ released the audio tape of former Clippers owner Donald Sterling racially insulting his mistress V. Stiviano. As a result of players' refusal to play until something was done, the league's new commissioner, Adam Silver, permanently banned Sterling and made him sell the team. The league's decision had a significant positive impact on player empowerment and strongly conveyed that racism would not be accepted from anyone. Domestic violence case involving Ray Rice. Domestic abuse is now associated with Ray Rice. According to USA Today, TMZ posted video of Rice punching his then fiance Janae Palmer on September 8, 2014. He was eventually released by the Baltimore Ravens and never again participated in an NFL game. With tougher fines, donations, and player education programs, the league is now paying closer attention to domestic abuse. Anti-doping sanctions on Russia for the Olympics. When the Olympics resume, you won't see any Russian competitors competing under their banner. According to CNBC, the World Anti-Drug Agency barred Russia from the 2019 Olympics and World Championships for a period of four years due to manipulation of lab data connected to its athletes' adverse drug tests. Before WADA eventually dropped the hammer, Russia had been connected to numerous doping scandals for years. As a result, some athletes had their medals taken away. NCAA basketball programs targeted by the FBI. Several of the major basketball programs in the United States are participating in this one, which is still going on. The Courier Journal says that significant corruption and fraud in collegiate basketball recruiting procedures were uncovered in 2017. Large universities including Kansas, NC State, USC, and Oklahoma State have also gotten letters of charges from the FBI. Important administrators at Louisville, including head coach Rick Pitino and athletic director Tom Jurich, were sacked. Before all is known, it might take some time, but be prepared for some severe penalties to be imposed. The Larry Nassar abuse scandal. In the middle of the decade, American gymnastics experienced a profound upheaval. 
According to the BBC, Larry Nasser, the former doctor for the Olympic gymnastics team, assaulted numerous young gymnasts for years before being publicly accused in 2016, a year after USA Gymnastics secretly severed its relationship with him due to major concerns about his practices. Nasser resisted throughout the protracted testimony process and was ultimately given a sentence of 40 to 175 years in prison for sexual assault and an additional 60 years for having child pornography in his possession. Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding's Collision the events of January 6, 1994 will always be associated with the names Tanya Harding and Nancy Kerrigan. According to the BBC, Harding's ex-husband and her bodyguard hired a man to break Kerrigan's leg before the Winter Olympics in order to eliminate Kerrigan as a rival. Due to her involvement in the scheme, Harding had her 1994 national championship win removed from her and finally received a lifetime figure skating ban. FIFA President Seth Blatter resigns. The reign of one of the most influential figures in athletics came to an end in disgrace. Sepp Blatter, the president of FIFA, resigned in June 2015 amid a slew of corruption charges, according to the BBC. In addition to other claims, FIFA's ethics committee handed Blatter an eight-year suspension, later reduced to six, for making a questionable payment to Michel Platini, the president of UEFA. In May 2015, the FIFA scandal led to dramatic arrests of officials in their hotel rooms in Zurich. Blatter continues to claim his innocence. Abuse controversy at Penn State. According to CNN, on November 4, 2011, a grand jury investigation found that Jerry Sandusky, the former defensive coordinator at Penn State, had assaulted multiple young boys over the course of around 15 years, and that school administrators had failed to disclose the crimes to law authorities when they were made aware of them. Days after the report's publication, Penn State's head football coach Joe Paterno was sacked. In 2012, Sandusky was found guilty and given a sentence of 30 to 60 years in prison. Penn State was forced to throw away every victory from 1998 through 2011 after the NCAA fined them $60 million and suspended them from postseason play for four years. Olympic corruption controversy in Salt Lake City. Not too long ago, communities would do anything to gain the right to host the Olympics, including breaking the law. This was the situation with Salt Lake City's bid for the 2002 Winter Olympics. According to CBC, the committee gave IOC members and their families US$1 million in cash, scholarships, gifts, and other favors. As a result, six IOC members were expelled and four others resigned. Nevertheless, the games were still held in the capital of Utah, and they were a financial success despite the unethical means used to get them. The Mitchell Report. The Mitchell Report placed everything in black and white regarding baseball's use of steroids after years of speculation and rumor. According to The Undefeated, a 409-page report detailing the findings of the 20-month inquiry was released on December 13, 2007, and it named more than 85 active and past baseball players who had used steroids, human growth hormone, or other performance-enhancing medications. Players as well as some of the biggest names in the sport, like Barry Bonds, Jose Canseco, and Roger Clemens, were listed in the study. Many baseball fans use the study to determine which players should be in the Hall of Fame and believe that the Mitchell Study's list of deserving candidates should never be admitted. Mistreatment at Duke Lacrosse. The Duke Lacrosse squad was accused of abusing multiple players in 2006, according to the Huffington Post, and the trial that followed was avidly watched across the nation. Then, in April 2007, Roy Cooper, the Attorney General of North Carolina, declared the accusations to be untrue, citing a lack of solid proof of an abuse attack. Mike Nifong, the District Attorney for Durham, was ultimately found to have frequently made false statements regarding the case. As a result, he was disbarred and briefly detained for contempt of court. The University of Miami, Nevin Shapiro scandal. One of the top football programs in America formerly belonged to the University of Miami, but an NCAA investigation in 2011 uncovered some shocking breaches. According to the Miami Herald, Booster Nevin Shapiro, who is currently serving a 20-year jail sentence for running a Ponzi scheme, admitted to giving illegal advantages to former players and coaches, including cash, paid relationships, jewelry, trips, and rewards for on-field performance, among other things. The university responded by placing a two-year self-imposed ban on bowl appearances, and the NCAA added additional sanctions in the form of forfeited scholarships and a three-year probation period from 2013 to 2016. Deflate a gate. Although the New England Patriots organization is frequently accused of questionable behavior, this scandal in 2015 was primarily hot air, or more precisely, a little less air. According to ESPN, the NFL looked into the Patriots after quarterback Tom Brady asked them to improperly reduce the game balls inflated. After the New England Patriots destroyed the Indianapolis Colts 45-7 in the 2014 AFC Championship game, the league punished Brady and the Patriots for two years and for $22 million United States dollars. Brady ultimately received a four-game suspension from the NFL for being, generally aware, of the practice. Brady and the Patriots were essentially viewed as repeat offenders and found to be guilty despite the fact that it was never proven due to Spygate. Boston Marathon cheater Rosie Ruiz in 1980, Rosie Ruiz discovered herself embroiled in one of the most strange sporting controversies ever. 
According to Time, the New Yorker who won the Boston Marathon did it in almost a record-breaking time of just over two and a half hours while appearing to exert very little effort. That's because she didn't. Days later, witnesses reported seeing Ruiz enter the race from the sidelines, about a mile from the finish line. Naturally, her medal was taken away. Marion Jones admits to doping. Doping is acknowledged by Marion Jones. Despite having an amazing athletic resume, Marion Jones' career was really supported by pharmaceuticals that increase athletic performance and a long history of denial. The American track and field athlete was implicated in the Balco controversy in 2004, according to Vice, although Jones has adamantly denied using performance-enhancing drugs for more than a decade. By October 2007, though, she had changed her mind. Her medals had been taken away, and she had been given a six-month prison sentence for admitting under oath to lying to federal authorities about using drugs at the Sydney Olympics. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe for more information. Please do support us.